Hey guys, this is Adam Newport Barra. I was the cinematographer on Run On that Daniel Kaufman directed. Um, here to answer some questions. Uh, the first question is about choreographing a long tracking shot and uh, how we worked with the actors, um, what the relationship with the camera was to the actors, and what uh, was planned and what was more spontaneous. And the short answer is that Daniel did a ton of work with the actors to figure out the blocking and sort of the dance of the scene. And then it was sort of my job to come in once we had the location and figure out how to interpret that in the location, how to maybe make it better or just embellish it or elevate it. But really it was Daniel's vision and it was me just kind of showing up and trying to do my best to sort of take the energy he created and best capture it. Um, so we spent a lot of time with our iPhones sort of dancing around the space, moving around with the actors, seeing what worked, what didn't work. And, you know, that created a really nice dance and balance so that, you know, I think every time we shot it, it felt a bit spontaneous. And I love the long takes because it did make it feel more spontaneous. There was more risk. It was a little bit more vulnerable. We knew that anything could happen. And that made it really fun. And I think there were all these little micro changes in each performance and things we didn't expect that make each take really special and it made the whole moment just kind of really electric and alive um i knew daniel would want to shoot it handheld because of how much he loves that feel and i think all the references that he was pulling were handheld so that made sense um i couldn't do it on my shoulder because it would have been too high for our kid i really wanted to keep the camera at our protagonist's eye level to really ground the story with him. So we chose to shoot with an easy rig so that I could keep the camera on my hip, keep it mobile, keep it handheld, but not totally break my back and my arms. Um, it worked really well. Um, and uh, as far as what was spontaneous, I think there's lots of small spontaneous moments with our protagonist. In general, everything was fairly well calculated and choreographed, but it's, you know, because it's handheld, there's little moments where I would catch something in a take and try to drift to catch it. You know, our focus puller would notice something and rack to it. There were little moments that were spontaneous, but in general, it's actually quite choreographed. For how rough it feels, it was actually very calculated. Um, the next question asks, the images tell a child's mind and imagination through light. The more restless he becomes during the story, the more the light, light aligns with his mood. Um, and asking what the research and work we did to get into this was, um, you know, I don't know if it was as calculated as that. I think it was. I mean, really it was about leaning into what the location had and making that as strong as it could. You know, we really liked starting the film with these police lights because it immediately paints this picture of sort of a more dangerous, volatile situation. The red, the strong red obviously evokes a lot of emotion. Um, and then as we move into the space, it's dark and grimy, you know, it's very true to what bus stations are like on the East Coast, you know, I've spent plenty of nights in bus stations as a teenager, and it's really not a fun place to be, it's kind of scary. Um, so it was, you know, I was trying to honor that feeling more than the reality of it, so everything's a bit darker and moodier and scarier than it might be. Um, you know, we tried to find places to have flickering lights to sort of embellish that feeling um and then once we go into the bathroom i think that's where daniel really wanted to take artistic license and make it feel as elevated and kind of terrifying as we could and so i tried to have a little bit of a realistic motivation of that green fluorescent flickering light but then daniel kind of wanted to push it harder and harder which i thought was a great idea and it just makes it incredibly dramatic and terrifying but also eerily beautiful so that was sort of uh that made sense to me and it worked i think it worked really well and then once we move outside you know we were mostly shooting with practical light which that location just really captured the tone and the vibe we were going for so we didn't have to do a lot and then we found those blinking beautiful lights at the end that were really colorful to kind of mimic that childlike sense of wonder, but that's grounded in something very real and gritty and kind of not very beautiful. So like having all these colored blinking lights, we tried to abstract it into something that felt more childlike and more magical, but really was grounded in something sort of banal, which I thought worked really well. Um, 
in terms of shooting on film, um, we chose to shoot on film just because I think Daniel and I both love it. And I think we love the magical organic nature of it. It's never ceases to surprise us and delight us with what it gives us. And it just feels really tactile and real and visceral. And that's about it. Thanks guys.